So, so welcome in. Uh, we're being joined later tonight by, um, or actually we're joined a little later here. I'm joined by Jojo Mojo, who just lost his Rocket League game, but a very close game nonetheless, as you saw a little earlier on the stream tonight. We do have LBCC Vikings versus our WCU R6 team. As we see bans coming out here, LBCC starts off with a Thatcher ban, and WCU starts off with a Jackal. Certainly makes a lot of sense to me, the guy who has never played R6, so... We see WCU banning the Mira. We'll probably more than likely see a Valkyrie ban here, but I'm not 100% sure on that. No idea yet, and we will see. I mean, from what it sounds like, this is going to be a rematch from last semester in the finals. A Maluzi ban, which is very interesting, but as someone who also doesn't play a lot of R6, I... Maluzi actually might have been a threat on Chalet, so I'm not 100% sure on these bans. We will see the bomb starting on the second floor, master bedroom office, and we'll see LBCC bringing out on defense Azami, Smoke, Wamai, and Valkyrie, as well as a creepy-ass looking Cade. Paul, sorry for my cursing there, coach, but we see WCU... <laughs> And just like that, WCU Esports is no longer going to be allowed to exist because of Disagree being an idiot. So, on the side of WCU, though, we do, we do see Osa, Ash. Uh, we'll see Minimum swapping to... Oh, we see a couple of swaps. Actually, here. Livid swapping to Ace. We'll see Cam sticking with the Ash. Claude swapping to the Osa, as I mentioned earlier. Boo's on the um, Sledge. And Minimum is on an operator that I'm not 100% sure of who, what their name is. Oh, and Kim, who is also swapping now too, so and a lot of swaps coming from WCU. Yep, and we see Cam swapping to, to Lion now. To Lion. Yeah. So we have the Unlucky Clover, the Peng, or sorry, starting from the top, we have the playing cards, the Lion, the Unlucky Clover, the Penguin, and the Sledgehammer. Yeah. Let's go! Which his name is actually Lion, so I'm not actually incorrect there. But. Oh, and we do see his fighting coming in. Yep. Out of the gate. A little bit. Not much, but enough. Yep. Let's see Hoppin checking his Valkyrie drones here, just trying to get some input. Still shots being fired. Someone knows that someone's here. Livid's looking in this corner, hoping to get a quick peak headshot. Cam's going to be going to the roof. Minimum's going to be just scanning the area a little bit. Claude's going to be sitting on the Osa shield, just bulletproof. Boo's going to throw in a grenade, hopefully clearing some stuff. They do finally find the bombs now. Very passive game for both teams here. Or actually, not really passive. Definitely a firefight going on, but no damage or kills so far on the board. Right now, we're looking at the 4th and 6th place teams in division. LBCC having a record of 4-2, and two, WCU having a record of 3-2. and two. So, honestly, if WCU wins this, then they're going to be ahead of LBCC in the leaderboard. Which, this, as we mentioned earlier, is a rematch from last season. And it's very interesting that LBCC is, um, I believe you said 4-2. and two. LBCC is 4-2. and two. As the fact they ran the division last season going I believe eight and one with that one loss actually being to WCU this exact team boo does take some damage here I missed that and so is cam cam has taken a little bit of damage but that might have just been from a cade wall again still no deaths only 50 seconds left in the round WCU does have to put some pressure on here they got to step on the gas here, as Livid and Cam find two, but also take a lot. Spidey and Bo find Minimum and Claude. It's a three on three, 40 seconds left. Bonvo's looking for some people here, not finding anyone. I genuinely thought you said Bongo like the drum. Bonvo does find Cam, though. 
and it's down to Livid and Boo. Livid does. Oh, Livid is very quickly found as I swap to him. Just a bad switch on my part there. I mean, it happens. They are going to leave Livid up, though, trying to just get some, uh, trying to see if Boo will come in here to save him. Oh, well. <laughs> Hoppin, or no, Bonvo does find Boo there. Hoppin did find Livid with those shots. I mean, it happens, dude. Yep. It's, it's a time. But still, anyone's game that was only round one, surprisingly, for how long that took. This map reminds me of Vale. <laughs> I mean, Fair it, enough. it looks like a ski resort, so. Yeah, I was about to say. It's about the same. Or Aspen. Looks like a good. No, never mind. Aspen has Aspen trees. I'm a little bit dense sometimes. It's fine. Yeah. Um, Finca, Fuse, Maverick, Ash, and Ace on WCU side in terms of operators. And on the side of LBCC, we have Azami, Twitch. Or no, that's Pulse. Sorry, Pulse, not Twitch. Jaeger. That's Smoke. And then Castle. Well, we do see a switch from Minimum and Livid once again. All right. Like in this little load phase, so. Yep. Sorry, the prep phase. My apologies. Yep. Not the load. And Cam will be swapping to Dokubi. Minimum will be swapping to Nomad. And Livid will be swapping to that operator. And Boo is going to be swapping to Ace. Boo will be swapping to Ace. Everyone but Claude. I'm sure of their picks, so they switch. And Claude's going to stick with it. Well, as I said, everyone but Claude. Yep. What I do know about Claude, though, is he is very sure of himself, so it's not a bad thing. It just yep. happens. While we start the attack here, just looking at some stats, Bonvo is definitely leading LBCC here. 3-0 currently, as I mentioned um, to my co-commentator last season, Bonvo was a nightmare for WCU as he was getting a lot of massive kills. Right now, as we are still in the early stages, as I mean, the display is a little bit big there. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. Of course, but I mean, right now, shots are being fired here. This is actually a zombie does throw out a shield here, so we do know Boo is approaching a zombie here. We'll see if uh, Boo decides to push on this, as Livid does get lit up there. I don't know. Hoppin got him. Hoppin so, did fall pretty low, though, yeah, so... Look over at Hoppin here. Do you do see that? And Cam finds Hoppin very easily. Dokubi goes out, just trying to get some intel. Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. Oh, as we just heard, WCU did just get the bomb diffuser once again. Boo picks off Bonvo there. That's a... Pretty solid pick from WCU. Yeah, that's a good kill for... Good early kill for Boo, especially. Yeah, Boo's just good. It's fine. Boo's just uh, shooting wildly like he normally does in Overwatch as well. But we'll see if it pans out for him. And right now, WCU playing very slow, patient, trying to find out. Yeah, trying to observe anyone from That'd be LBCC. is pushing up the stairs here. Spidey Vision is actually known where he's in. Agni does find Boo, though. Ooh, and Agni's gonna find Claude as well. And we'll also and find minimum. minimum. That was just a death cylinder right there. Well, as Agni also finds Cam. That's a quad for Agni if, if yep. I'm correct about that. Which yep, sounds that, like was a, that was a big honestly, quad for Agni. Throwing him to the top him. of the board as well. Four and one. I mean, a four, three, two, one, oh, that is nice. Yeah. Just looking down. I like I like it when things align like that. It's fun. Yeah. We will see minimum starting on the Maverick. Fuse, Ash, Sledge, and Sens. That's his name that I can't remember. And on the side of LBCC, we will see Warden, Oryx, Cade, Jaeger, and Wamai. Well, Warden looks like J. Jonah Jameson, so. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Okay, so... And right now, WC is trying to look at the bombs. The well, bomb. as I yep. said, that they found the bombs. So let's say this is a big site that we also like to use on Chalet, this garage site right here. 
as it really only has two entrances. You either come down the stairs or you try and get through that barricade right there that Claude's sitting in front of. Let's see if Claude's actually thinking about anything here. So we do see the attack going on here. Uh, there was only surprisingly two swaps for WCU this time. Minimum swap to Blackbeard and Boo swap to Ace. Only two swaps, you know. They're, they're finally, uh, I think, figuring out what ops they want to use here. But they, but also with R6, just knowing R6 in general, different uh, bomb sites have different operators that are good for said bomb sites. Boo, or Livid, sorry, does know that. Whoever this is, is standing right above him and is going to be very careful on attacking this. Minimums using Blackbeard Minimums to just reach. Yep. Try and get some shots off. Not able to... Well, he tried to get someone, but unable to know where they went and not able to so find anyone there. No damage done to either side at this moment. That is Deadbeat actually just sitting there. Deadbeat and Hoppin are the ones patrolling this bottom bomb here. Oh, Hoppin takes some big hits there. I don't know who was shooting at him. Probably minimum, if I had to guess, as he was the closest one. Cam's going to go in for a drone approach here just to get some sight lines in. Looks like Boo's going to be in a fight here in just a second. Yep, we'll hop over to Boo. Never mind. Ooh, and as Claude finds Hoppin. Ooh, as we say that, Claude just gets lit up by Spidey. And Bonvo oh my gosh, finds four Livid and kills. Minimum. Deadbeat finds Cam. It's down to Boo at this point. I mean, don't count is, Boo out. Yeah. He may just surprise you. I mean, it's in the name. <laughs> it's technically not in the name. If we were going with this official name, it's actually Bo Zero. Um... So, Bo Zero does get found by Agni there. It's Boo. Don't even start. <laughs> As we just see, someone just sitting still waiting for that corner. WCU yep. can't help but walking into the bullets instead of walking away from them. But that's okay. Sometimes that just happens. Yep. But also, we are starting on attack, which is technically the harder side. So, even just one win here or there on the attacking side is still better than nothing. And right now, I think WCU, like you said, is starting to figure out who they want to play. Claude did switch to Montaigne, or Montagny. Montaigne. With Thermite, Montaigne, Zero, Ulsa, and someone else. And it looks like, as usual, living in minimum, unsure of who they want to pick, and then switching last second in this loading phase. When we see Cam and Boo follow suit, time will tell. Well, here we go. Five seconds until this round starts. Attackers are moving out to locate a bomb and defuse it. I mean, right now, Western really just needs to put on the pressure, and no good way to do that at this point. I think what LBCC did is they banned who they knew were going to be the biggest counterpicks to them, and WCU just kind of stuck with who they normally ban anyway. Yep. So, very different approaches to how they banned. Um, as of right now, Western still not finding anyone. They did find the bomb sites though just now. Should be fairly telling about how this round will go. We do see. Oh, Livid gets a gets some damage. Or takes some damage. Cam falls to Spidey, and I mean. Western just struggling to get the momentum in their favor at this point. Ooh, Hoppin finds Claude. No. Livid still just trying to... Finally gets in there getting Agni. But, I mean, that was a great pick on Agni. Puts 
I do see you in a little bit more favor than if they were to just stay back and not get any picks here. Three to four isn't impossible as we've seen in the past with Western, but also not necessarily the best course of action as minimum starts to go in. Ooh, does peak and almost get found. Backs off. Tries to pressure, finds no one. Boo, sees somebody. Tries to hit their feet. So one minimum's trying to go for, actually. I think they're trying to push him. Min gets picked off there. It's going to be down to Livid and Boo, who are now moving in as a team. Livid, Livid finds, finds Spidey, Spidey, but he's almost out. Boo gets taken out by Bonvo. Livid here just has to get every kill he can. Ooh, almost gets picked off. Looks like LBCC is going to try and flank. There's the flank. And Bonvo is going to find Livid. Livid with a grenade. Which is, does put Von Bo up 7 1 and 1. Von Bo has only died once this entire series with four maps. I mean, same as Spidey and Deadbeat. Deadbeat. Yeah. So, can't really be saying too much right now. It is looking like Von Bo's the main attacker in terms of LBCC side. WCU struggling to f have everyone find their position in this matchup. Everyone so far has been trying a different point, but or a different aspect of their game, but not able to find anyone or not able to find who they want where. And some more switches coming out from WCU once again. Looks like, I think, mainly the one consistent operator we're seeing from Western is Boo as Sledge. Everyone else yep. kind of just changing up. Minimum yep. does show Lion for the moment. Claude's gonna show Flores and Cam's gonna show Iona. No idea how this is gonna play out. I can only hope that WCU finds a way to pick it up here very soon. I mean, 4-0 LBCC, it's not an impossible comeback for Western. We've seen them dig themselves out of deeper holes than this, but right now, LBCC just cruising down a slope. Or down, cruising down the path to victory. Down a ski slope. Sure. <laughs> As we can see, the snow all around Chalet, currently what our college town is looking like. <laughs> We are in round five of a possible, I mean, 15? I mean, um, in, in all technicality. In all technicality 15. technicality, 15, but more than likely 13 maximum, hopefully. 13 max would be... Or sorry, 12 max. Oh, well, 12 max would be the perfect one because that would mean WCU gets a reverse sweep starting here. Two and a half minutes to get on the bomb. I think Western might actually be trying to go for, excuse me, a bit of a slower, but also more tactical approach. Yep. Something that they weren't quite able to do co or successfully thus far. 12 max actually does allow LBCC to get one more round victory as it would be 7 to 5 for 12. Hoppin does find Livid though very quickly. And that is the diffuser down. But the Mint does find <laughs> Hoppin. That's a great trade as WCU is able to regather the diffuser and maybe get down low. Boo is going to be in a fight, gets taken out, and Bongo finishes him off, not allowing a chance to get picked back up. It's going to be down to Cam, Minimum, and Claude. Claude stepping in for the first time in a few weeks for Western, something that we haven't seen. But not necessarily a bad change of pace, it's just a change of pace, which may also be team chemistry. Yep. Okay, who's the one who's not here this week? Flat Earth. Recycle first, sorry. Recycle first, there you go. Yeah. That's what it is. His Recycle. Discord name is Flat Earth. I mean, don't you think if there was a Flat Earth, it would just be advertised? Like, there'd Min be billboards is found edge. by Agni there, though, and so is Cam. And, yeah, Deadbeat's gonna find Cam, and it's all up to Claude. And Claude, I mean, he really can't sit back and save. There's nothing quite like that in Mind you, 6 We have seen Claude actually do a reverse ace. We can see, we might see Claude get the quad here, which would be awesome to be yeah. able to call out. Claude with oh. the quad. Nope, hey, never Agni mind. Agni did see Claude, and Claude did not see Agni, and that's just Agni it. I saw Agni on the stairs there, and that just, yep, Agni was able to pick off Claude, gets a quick, or gets a headshot, which in this, in R6, that is death. That is it. Yep. That is your character for the round. Yep. How to get into round six? Round six here. A little tired. 
This is one of our later games, but heading into round six here, LBCC up 5-0 for map one. Again, still anything is possible in this game as all it takes is one win on the side of attack for WCU and WCU could take this on defense. But we will have to wait and see for that as it is now time for Western to once again locate the bombs. Yep. Game is a little repetitive sometimes, but that is A-OK. -okay. That happens. I mean, every game gets a bit repetitive at some point. Minimum just there missing a lot of his shots for the moment. Something that he was doing earlier tonight in Rocket League. Hopefully, he fixes that really quick. <laughs> Can't say I was doing much better, though. So. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, as, as the captain, um, getting 3-2 definitely hurts hard. Yeah, it uh, hurt we, that bad. We do see, again, this same position that Western was in last time where they got just essentially all killed. I don't think there was any deaths that round in this garage, but we shall see as Livid is going for a low ground approach. Cam's just trying to get some sniper shots out with Glaz. Minimum's actually on the ace this time. Boo's on the Akai. The Cali. Boo's on something. Boo's on the Cali. Claude's on the fuse, Livid's on the sense. A couple small shots coming out from Western here. <laughs> Trying to just re He's looking for that hole. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what, uh... Don't know why you would be peeking up through that hole for the moment, but... I don't know. Okay, that is Deadbeat. I don't really... I, I kind of agree with you here. I don't know what Deadbeat's plan is here. I think he's waiting for someone to try and sneak up and get around the corner. Interesting approach, sure. You can definitely do that. And he's gonna look through the smoke, try and get a quick pick. We'll see if Glaz finds anyone here through the smoke. A little bit of a spray and pray. This is definitely a uh, Glaz's signature feature, as he can see through any kind of uh, blinding effect, such as smoke. Hoppins, or no, that's Deadbeat. Deadbeat does know they're here. Spotty finds Livid, Deadbeat finds Claude. It's going to be up to Cam, Min, and Boo to take this round. And they know where the bombs are. They're right there. They just can't find where anybody on the opposing team is. LBCC playing very smart, waiting for WCU to overstep their positions. This is risky. I mean, it's risky, but you have to go for it. And Min did, did try off. to go for it with a Nitro Cell, finding him from Deadbeat. I mean, it's just Cam and Boo here. LBCC has to know where Western is at this point, right? Like, there's no chance that they don't. Except for when Cam moves around like that. Yep, Cam's going to go for actually a backwards approach here, trying to just get some picks. He has to be careful, as that Akali does know he is here. All it takes is, as we said, one headshot, and there's the Akali. Yeah, there it is. Yep, Agni it's found Cam, down to Boo. Try and bait Boo in with Cam being right there, but they know where Boo is. I think Agni's going to take out Livid here. Oh, they did. Well, I just missed that. It's going to be all up to Boo with 30 seconds left. Has to get a team kill to win, which is not looking likely. He also needs to get a plant here. He... Spidey immediately just finds him as LBCC gets another flawless victory. I mean, not even taking any damage there, too. That was... Yeah, brutal. I was say. So that was uh, two flawless victories, I believe. No, three, three flawless victories for LBCC that time. Who knows, but Western will have a chance to defend and bring this game back into their control. And if they can defend successfully for a few games in a row here or for six games in a row, that puts LBCC, or that shifts the momentum fully, and it's going to be a random choice as to who attacks and defends first. Right. Which can benefit Western. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. WCU just going to be setting up here as LBCC tries to find all the bombs and I mean, no 
idea what's really gonna happen here for the rest of this game. WCU really needs this victory here because if LBCC manages to find it, that's the that's game one in the series. And it's yep. a best of three series, so it doesn't mean that WCU can't turn it around, but it does cause some excuse me, room for worry. As we can see, Kim trying to see if he can find anyone in their drone. He does end up finding one drone. Looks like Boo's gonna be here with drones and people just around the corner. If he's not careful, that could be a quick pick. Boo moves behind the reinforced wall looking for anyone else to come out. Is there gonna be another instance of unfortunate reload timing? We do see LBCC drop a bomb or drop a drone down. Ooh. Boo did get found by one of LBCC, but they backed out really quick, and now it's Boo trying to hold this corner on his own. I mean, just trying to scope out, see if he can find anyone. Livid just playing safe. Livid's just laying in bed, taking a nap real quick, it looks like. I mean, it's late. It is late. Ooh, Claude, Claude does, does find, find Hoppin. Worked out well there. And that ended up being the diffuser carrier. Claude is approaching on someone else here. Ooh, and Boo's getting lit up now. Minimum finds Bonvo. Huge pick for Minimum. Five on three now for Western. LBCC not only has to get the plant, or they have to get the plant or the team kill, and it looks like the plant is going to be much more likely. Boo looking the wrong way. He might. Oh, no. Ooh, he's safe for now. Is some fighting going on somewhere as Cam finds Agni. Looks like it's gonna be. Attackers have located a bomb. Spidey playing like a spider. I mean, upside down. This is gonna be risky though, as there is someone sitting in this corner that Spidey can't see. All it takes is one wrong jump, and Spidey's dead here. Spidey's going for it. That's Spidey dead. That is Spidey dead. That leaves it all up to Deadbeat, who has 20 seconds to get the plant, because that's all he can really go for at this point. I don't think that the ace is going to be possible. 15 seconds to go. It's not, and I don't think he'll have oh. enough time to get the diffuser either. Either He's not going to have enough time to get up to the bombs, and he gets no. lit up by Cam. Yeah. There we go. WCU with a flawless round. They did take a, quite a bit of damage there. It was a little bit worrisome, but they did manage to get the victory, keeping them alive in game one of this series. Yep. Western's defense looking much stronger than their offense was. LBCC playing very patient there, and I think that we might see a change in that. As we move further into WCU's defense. Okay, we do see Spidey going on the glass here. Another interesting skin, a couple of skins I don't recognize here. Look, we'll be in the garage this time. Uh, already putting holes in the wall, not necessarily good for WCU, as they kind of know where the bomb's at at this point. Maybe not, as they walk right past Claude, setting up this defense. Then again, if you play league enough to play competitively, you know where the bon bombs are. Did, for the most part, are. Did, did you mean R6, not League? R6, I know what I'm There's talking a about. Big difference between those two. But that being said, League of Legends tomorrow night. Alongside Overwatch, Crimson, and both Smash teams. <laughs> oh my goodness, a lot of matches as we come back from our one week break off of school. It is nice to be back, though. It's great to be back in the casting booth. And, I mean, on WCD Sports main. I am joined by Dis on WCU Sports 2. Earlier, I was joined by Mountain Man. So a very yep. 
I mean, two very different casters, two very different people, but yeah, one, a lot of fun. One's a grown adult and our coach who's very knowledgeable about, or not knowledgeable, he's very knowing about a majority of our games. He plays all of them. Well, I myself am very knowledgeable about the three games I play and very minuscule knowledge about our six. I know about two of the games that we play. Or, I know three of the games. Sorry, not two. I know enough about Overwatch, Smash, and Rocket League. I oh. just happen to play one of those. We might see a kill here from Claude. Yeah, Claude's getting ready. He sees the broken window, so he's going to be peeking the other way. Oh, looking up to see if he can find someone through the see vent. See if he gets the feet. Claude's looking for them feet. So there's a grenade. The grenade just <laughs> Agony through, finds Claude. Claude. I was about to say, that's not a good, that's not a good start for... WCU here, but Bonvo did take some damage. He's in a fight, it appears. I don't know with who. Apparently playing with his demons. Yeah, apparently. I think WCU looking a little bit rent free in WCC's head, but Agony with that pick on Claude is gonna put WCU on their heels. They now have so much more to take care of. And oh. Bonvo get the pick on Livid. Five to three now in favor of LBCC. Never mind, five to two. It's down to Cam and Min, who both need to get some solid picks. Min does find Bonvo. Huge kill from Western. And Min's gonna find Agni there. Two kills from Min. A good kill from Cam there as well. So it's gonna be a two on two where LBCC. Ooh. Well, two on one. Cam just loves to correct me. Haha. <laughs> In R6 and in Overwatch. They know he's here. They're just playing very defensively. In the DPS. Um, Spidey now could be... Oh, finds the pick on minimum. It's going to be up to Cam. And, I mean... Oh! Spidey finds Cam for LBCC taking game one. Very interesting that he immediately knew where Cam was, but I think that you have just, that game sense. I mean, you have footsteps, and you all like you can have better audio just with headphones. You can also have some. Uh, uh, I cannot speak. You can also just have help from your teammates because I know yeah. that the, those people who do get taken out early are able to help out with comms yeah, and figuring out the, where people are. Yep, see the cams and everything. If you want to swap yep. over real quick, we will be right back as soon as we can once game two, or once, yeah, game two in this best of three series starts.
Welcome back to game two of this best of five series. We are going to be back in the ban phase. WCU really needs to turn up the moment or turn up the pace here and yep. just do as much as they can. We are going to be on Oregon. Do see a Thatcher ban. We'll also more than likely guarantee see a Mira ban here. And the team names did reset to where it's blue and orange. Yep. So, um, blue team is WCU in this case. Orange team is LBCC. LBCC. I don't know why. I mean, by process of elimination, it would have to be Orange's LBCC. It would be yep. weird if both teams were, in fact, WCU. Yeah. So, when there's only one Western I think <laughs> six team. For some reason this season, especially when changing in between maps, the settings have got wonky for the teams, it appears, because we've had games where the team shows it's going to Clubhouse, even though it goes sent, gets sent to Oregon and stuff like that. Are you sure that Orange is WCU? Is That seems to be their normal bands. Uh, I am fairly confident Blue is WCU as they start Oregon Attack. Attack is the swords. Attack. Uh, I mean, Blue is defense. Sorry. WCU does start defense here. My apologies. Well, it looks like we're on a farm, people. Yep. Not people, but folks. <laughs> folks, y'all. Y'all, we're going down to Oregon in the south here. Oregon's... Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I failed geography for a reason, folks. Um, <laughs> anyway, Min still looking to try and find a... Okay, sorry, I just got a bit distracted there. Yeah, Min picks Min's Frost. A... Livid is on... There's the pick. Min's on Frost. Livid's on Thorn. Defense Cam is Bob. on... Mute here. Claude is on a zombie and Boo is on Cade. Hoppin is on Ace currently. Bonvo is on. Bonvo is currently. Actually, sorry, scratch that. Bonvo is going Cali. Deadbeat's on Thermite. Spidey's on. Spidey's on an operator I have never seen in our games. And Agni is on Ash. Well. I mean, something that I've learned about casting this, which is really fun, is that people just love to correct you as you're trying to say something. Yup. Here we are, three seconds away, and I will have to just hope that WCU knows what to do here. That appears to be a new attacker, Brava. They must have dropped when in between seasons or something, because the last champion I knew came, operator I knew came out was Solus. Did you know that someone got an update which doesn't or which disallows them from being picked, and that was IQ, I believe. Yes, IQ currently had a bug that I believe was actually fixed fairly quickly, but to be on the safe side, NECC decided to not allow it, but IQ was able to see a majority of the operators just through walls while they were using their technology. Interesting. You can see how that's a bit unfair. Oh, just a bit? <laughs> So we do see Deadbeat here on the attack. Livid's just searching for some people. Livid knows someone's here. Hoppin finds Boo. Watch for them, oh, wait, what? Can they not play Bravo? When did Brava get dropped? March 7th. So as of today. And 
round one, WCU up three to two in terms of kills. The uh, Well, WCU wins round one there, and just looking to pick someone off at the end because might as well. And general good plays from WCU in that game or in that round to keep themselves on the advantage. Oh, we see Cade, Jaeger, Smoke, Mute, and Thorn coming from Boo, Claude, Min, Cam, and... Oh my gosh. Uh, livid. My apologies as my memory slipped there. Maybe WCU in the bottom of Oregon here on defense for round two. Gonna see how well they do. They held off pretty well in round one. If WCU can have the lead that, say... LBCC had last time they can get the advantage that or if they can get that 7-0 lead I feel like WCU is going to really be able to hold out and keep strong throughout the remainder of this series as I said it is a best of three currently LBCC leads WCU 1-0 Right now, no immediate fights yet, but we very well could find some soon. It looks like we will see Minimum and Cam possibly getting into a fight here. Cam gets a pick on Bondo. Great early pick from Western. Cam is now holding out this hallway on his own. Pressure back to Min. Or gonna be pressured back to Min, my apologies. And Livid now. We're gonna have a small firefight. As Hoppin was working on Claude there, or it was working. Hoppin does find Cam as well. Hoppin is getting damaged by someone. Boo picks off Spidey. Great pick from Boo. Yep, and Hoppin is still injured, so this is a good spot still in favor of WCU, even though it is a three on three. And WCU seems to be looking the wrong way And Hopping gets picked off, it's gonna be, f that's gonna force LBCC to come down that stairwell to pick up that diffuser. And Liv is gonna know that, take one, it's gonna be down to Agni. Which is the lion, they're pushing up on him. Agni does find Livid. Agni doesn't have, still doesn't have the diffuser though, has to go for the kills at this point because of how long it takes to diffuse. Oh, gets some damage on the boo. And Agni Minimum does pick Agni. off Agni. WCU up 2-0 right now. Yeah, okay. Cool. <laughs> Gonna have a mistype here from my co-caster. As AT was accidentally sent in chat. Honestly, a nice cup of tea would... It sounds delightful right now. 
What are you laughing at? You went C. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. I don't know what UNC means, so whatever. No idea what UNC means either. I will ask nicely. <laughs> you can ask nicely to teams that we play against. Kidding here, folks. Uncle. Uncle. <laughs> ah. I'm gonna go ahead and steal control from you for just. Whoops. Wrong button. He's messing up. And it looks like it's going to be on the main floor of Oregon here that the bombs are. Do see a uh, minimum actually making a maze of uh, bulletproof walls here. <laughs> Very interesting. Cam is going to set up a mute drone right on this, hopefully stopping some drones from seeing Min just <laughs> barricading himself in with Akali bulletproof walls. I mean, it's going to be fun to just uh, barricade yourself, you know. Yeah. I mean, if they can't find you, they can't take you out. That is actually quite accurate. <laughs> I mean, you can't... Having to play careful here as Bombo is just trying to get some info, but the mute definitely has some of these things clipped off, so it's very hard to actually get some knowledge. And there's some fire going down, but not a ton. Oh, and whoever that was going up the staircase just missed the drone at their feet. Could be detrimental to them. That was actually LBCC that did see their drone go past them. Well, Livid definitely getting pushed on here from both sides, actually. I do believe. Yeah, there's a grenade in. Ooh, he does survive that, though. Livid has to be careful as he's, I believe, surrounded. And he knows it. He knows someone's there. He's trying to force him to overcommit and peek through that just to get a quick pick off. We do see the lion sensor and go off from Agni. Ooh, Claude's in a firefight too. Took a quite a bit of damage. Livid does pick off Bonvo. Agni finds Claude. Livid finds Spidey, WC. Okay, we'll hop up to oh. Livid as Livid's just taking people. Well, Cam did find Agni, but you know. Cam did find Agni, but as we hop back to Livid, Hoppin does find Cam. Currently a quadra kill, or set up for a quadra kill for Livid here, I believe. And right now, WCU, I mean. And Livid's going to get it as he gets the quad. Livid gets Hoppin. <coughs> I mean, he was playing patient, playing smart, just mm -hmm. knew that. The window could be a quick peek option for LBCC, and WCU takes a 3-0 lead, starting on defense on Oregon, a map that they haven't really played so far this semester, but right. might be one that they want to start picking up more based on how they're going. I honestly question if it was honestly the map bans in general, as Oregon was the deciding map for LBCC versus WCU last semester, where WCU did win the series because of Oregon. I do believe that they went 8-7 and seven on Oregon against LBCC. So, we'll see what comes out of it here. And right now, Western, again, just setting up on defense as much as you can, and it's kind of just how everything works. We do see Cam making a uh, rotate hole there. We are on the top floor this time of Oregon. Thus far, have not seen any drones on this top floor to spot Sp the bombs. Spidey is over here setting up in tower. A good spot for some drone placements, but I was about to say, only if you're going snipers, which Spidey is not. Go get a first-hand perspective real quick from WCU. Let's go check how we decide to attack here. Bon is going the underside here, hoping to get a pick if he can. Doesn't find anyone though, as WCU is all holed up right around the bombs. Doesn't look like LBCC has found the bombs either. Yep. Spidey is going to go in with the drone here. Doesn't see anyone. Agni also looking. 
Hoppin also looking. Everyone's just trying to find these bombs. Definitely wasting some time here for LBCC. I mean, that's in our favor, though. WCU yeah. really needs that waste or that time to just burn as much as possible, which then forces LBCC to push as hard as they can. And, ooh, Bonvo gets taken, takes some very heavy damage. There's Bonvo. <laughs> Seven. Okay. Don't know what Bonvo, Bonvo got hit by there, actually. There's not really anyone here. Bombo taking a risky rotation here. Hop back over to WCU, get some look at our team. This okay, might no, be I'm massive for minimum corner. here. All he has to do is peek. Oh. Oh, he's, I feel like he sees someone there. He sees him climb, climb down. He does end up pinging it. And he's waiting for this. This is going to be a someone behind him. Hits the Nomad a little bit more. Or no, that was, sorry, that was the gridlock. That was deadbeat. And he does take out some of those spike traps. I don't quite know what they were, but... All like I know is it's Gridlock's power. I don't know specifically what they do. I would assume they're exactly like Tripwire. I'm in the middle, I'm trying to force them to come down. Claude takes some heavy damage. Cam just setting up a mute trap, actually, right here. Claude. Very passive game. Or, not passive game, but very, uh... Defensive game, I guess, is the best way to do it. As minimum finds Hoppin. And he's gonna be caught in a one versus two here. He might, excuse me, just get outflanked. He gets picked off from yeah. low by Spidey. Ooh, and, and Bond, Bond finds Min. Cam, Cam finds, finds Bond. Bond. And WC has a bit of a health Cam advantage. Cam finds and dead. A, and a team and a operator advantage as well as it is now three to two in WCU's favor. 27 seconds left, and LBCC once again without the diffuser. WCU getting very lucky with their picks off onto the diffusers. Yeah, I really wish Cam was this accurate in Overwatch. Definitely help his Widow gameplay. I'm definitely getting pushed from both sides here. Ooh. And Cam does find someone. Oh, finds the other on LBCC as well. Agni finds Boo. Finds Cam. Agni finds Cam. But up that is here. it. Livid is going to survive, and that's going to be a win yep. for round four for WCU. WCU up now 4 nothing over LBCC. Yep. That was a bit of a scary end of that round. Yeah. Livid could have been picked off if there was just a spray and pray from uh, yeah. Agni, I believe, who yep. was still alive. And that was a one-on-one. -on -one. So yep. if someone got the kill there, they would have won it for their team. And LBCC needed that to keep their momentum. Very much so. A little bit weird, too. Something that's... Something that I've noticed week to week is that there's generally one or two people on either side who do or do not have their school's abbreviation as well. So Claude and Livid having .wcu and Agni the only one from LBCC having that .lbcc. Uh, I do know that one, actually. And it looks like it was Bonvo the IQ? Yeah. Because he did just switch. Yeah, I was about to say, I do know that one. So we are all good. Attackers have located a bomb. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. I was... Yeah, Agni, stop yelling at me. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of friendly banter in the chat. I mean... <laughs> More just, we were confirming, and yep. they were just saying that, oh, shoot, we forgot. So. Yep, so we do, uh, we are actually in the basement this time, defending. We'll see how this goes for it. Uh, hop, we'll hop onto Hoppin' real quick. We're still in drone. And it looks like it's going to be main, no, basement, I believe, yep, for the bomb location. in the basement. I mean, WCU has to hold out two and then win one. And yeah. so far, they've been pretty successful with their defense on Oregon. They really need... I mean, right now, I would hope that WCU can keep holding it out for the remainder of this game. But not always a possibility. Bonvo does find Boo really early. As the Buck does uh, find some kills here. They are going to... Looks like they will almost get swarmed here as they're very rapidly approaching... Um, I actually don't know who this is on the floor. They know he's there. Well, 
Well, we're about to find out because it's Claude. <laughs> well, Claude gets taken out by a Deadbeat who's flanked mm. around the or flanked behind him. It's going to be down to Livid Cam and Min. Bonvo very low on health, so it's almost a three v four, and any lucky headshot can change the tides of this fight or of this round, I should say. Yep. So LBCC knows that it is going to be a low Cam bomb. does back up here. Hopefully he doesn't get behinded by the I Iona. Yep, because behinded is definitely a word. Behinded. Rear-ended. Tailgated. Flanked. Flanked. Flanked is a more appropriate word. Tailgated. I like that one. From the south, tailgated. Hope he doesn't get tailgated. Making my cool commentator crack up here. Just stunned in disbelief, but it's fine. Cam Ooh, does find dead pick from Cam. Oh, and Livid ties it 3-3, and Livid getting a double kill. Finds Spidey, gets picked off by Agni. It's two on two now. It's the Smoke and Mute Brothers, almost the exact same logo. Ooh, Cam gets picked off by Hop, and it is now up to Min. Min playing... They are planting this... Weird ...position. Looking to try and find someone around the corner. Might actually get it. No, Orange Team gets the defuse. And Min spraying way too high. Agni picks him off because of it. But again, not not bad. Not bad for WCU. That's only one win for LBCC. We just need to keep the pressure in on WCU's side here. And we are one round until the swap. This is going to really decide how the remaining attack goes from WCU. If they can... if they win this one i have a feeling we might see a very aggressive attack one round from western if they don't it might be a bit more passive as they try and find a good way to approach we do see the rook coming out so they are going for a tanky a very tanky defense here bringing out the mute who can just shut down all operator utilities and then the rook also bringing out those shields so headshots actually do take two shots to kill Then there's Vigil, who hopefully can get around them, get some detection out there. And here we go, WCU are going to be trying to hold out once again. Gonna be a main floor bomb for this final round before the swap. I mean, right now Western really needs one or two quick picks before the main firefight and pressure starts. Honestly, the pressure from W or the pressure on WCU could be getting to them here, as yeah. they know they need to hold this out to have more than a fair shot at winning this in eight. Mm -hmm. Definitely, uh, Agni, actually, this game is definitely a priority target as they're the main p person actually clutching up a lot of these, or clutching clutching last round as well as almost clutching a couple rounds in the past. Whew. Claude very quickly backs out. Ooh, he almost gets the pick, as we can see that as the spectator. Not quite able to do so, though, and, I mean, Claude obviously not knowing where anyone is that not quite as well as we do who takes a little bit of damage there but not enough to be too worried going to be playing on his own it's going to be one on i believe about three here as he rotates just to the open or to the open door just too late to get any sort of attack Ooh, Claude, that's Claude gonna on spidey. spidey and agni almost goes down there as well Hop over to Claude's perspective. Let's go see see what Agni's doing. His Bonvo also takes some damage there. Ooh, Minimum gets picked off minimum. by Deadbeat. Cam trades and gets Bonvo there. Then works up. I mean, Bonvo. Er, Agni Cam throws in there. a flashbang. We'll see if it if it does anything here. Agni and Deadbeat going to push in together. One of the UCU is going to push back. Claude has to be careful. He's on very low health. So do Deadbeat and Agni. Hmm. Pushing together, they can secure that kill, but they do risk also both of Deadbeat and Agni dying. Ooh, as Claude, Claude finds Hoppin, gets found by Agni. 
There's a three on two, but those are two people who are both one or two hits away, yeah. as opposed to two who are fully heal or have full health yep. on WCU's side. 45 seconds for LBCC to get the plant. It's essentially three on a half now. Quite literally in terms of health, as yeah, even if you really add both of them together, it is still only half of health. Just but, about three. I'll say about 2.85. Yeah, 2.93 2. on three here. <laughs> on half, I mean, sorry. There you go. Yeah. Great execution. You're doing terrific. Really right Ooh, and Very Livid's risky oh. here. As Livid just accidentally turns away a little bit too early as Deadbeat picks him off. It is now... Oh! Well, Cam <laughs> knows where Agni's at, but does get flashbang. I mean, he gets flashed and just gets the hit. And Boo gets the Boo. pick on Deadbeat. Across great shot. The map, too. I mean, if you look at this, this is just a great shot from Boo. An absolute line to Except Deadbeat. He also only needed to hit one of those bullets, so it's essentially just spray and pray as soon as you see him. Yeah, still, kudos to Boo. Kudos to Boo. <laughs> he got them that win. WCU might go for a very aggressive first attack here, because yep. I think that at this point, that is their smartest play. Yeah, Li Livid and Cam definitely making a massive step up here. Nine and seven, nine and seven kills respectively. Minimum in the third place with five. Claude and Boo with three and two. Agni again, still that major threat with nine kills. But that doesn't discredit Deadbeat and Hoppin who have yeah. four. Bon right. and Spidey a little bit behind, two and one respectively. Yep. Deadbeat and Hoppin though, as well as Spidey and Von Bo, not to cut him any short. Or sorry, not Bonvo included in this conversation. Spidey Hoffman and Deadbeat, all with two assists. So they are being included in these kills, just not... They're not finding them. Right, the they're end. not finding them in the end, and Agni is cleaning up. We do see a switch from Cam over to actually the operator that we were that they were questioning a bit Bra earlier. Brava. Yeah, Brava, an uh, operator that just got released two weeks ago, so was legal to play in the NECC. Tonight is the first night Brava could be played, so I think it's just a bit of bit of miscommunication as NECC also didn't announce it at all. But we shall see what happens on this attack. As we have an Ace, a Cali, a Maverick, a Brava, and Livid. And <laughs> Livid, I think that is zero. LBCC. I do believe you are right. LBCC has a Pulse and a, Kal and a Kami, a Cade, a Wamai, and a Maluzi. As we finally switch over to first person perspective, not a bad way to wait though. I'm trying to see if we can find a firefight pretty early. WCU looking for the bombs. It's going to be on the main floor. Not something that WCU was expecting. Livid gets taken out by Bon, and Cam is just. Hiding his drone. Cam, Cam's struggling there a little bit. Minimum putting down a claymore to try and defend. I think Cam's just trying to figure out how to get out of here. As it's, there we go. Min's taking some damage there, not a ton, but yep. Cam finally gets out. That's okay. Yep. Ooh, See Claude on the Claude, other roof, ooh, waiting for this sniper shot. Almost gets it. Claude's still waiting. I mean, if he knows he's there, he may as well wait. And, sorry, not the main floor, the top floor of this one. I do believe that is... That is the top floor. Yep, that is deadbeat, I believe, that Claude is just staring into here. We do find the Akali with Cam's drone. Boo, Boo finds find Spidey. Spidey. Let's go, Boo. Claude beginning his... Assault on the house. Bond finds Cam though. That's a little bit unfortunate for WCU. Minimum Claude and Boo now have one minute to either get the rest of LBCC or get the plant and survive. Hop and finds Boo. It's down to Minimum and Claude here. They know where Minimum's at as he takes some damage to the Cade wall. Have to play this semi peacefully, semi defensively. Mainly just playing it slow, waiting for someone from OECC to step out. <laughs> Minimum stepping out here. And, ooh, Min's gonna come in, try and put on some pressure. 
Gets picked off by Bonvo. It's going to be up to Trip, Claude. Triple kill for Bonvo currently. Yeah, four. There we go. There you go. I was fine with it. I know. I mean, Claude, I think, just going to know that he has to take the L here. Yeah. Five seconds left. He doesn't have the diffuser. He can't do anything. He's just going to set up a Claymore and then walk away. Might as well. I mean, right there, I think he realized that he was yep. just... He had lost, and he, there's no point in trying to go yep. any further. Yeah. So WCU going to have to reevaluate how they attack this round as LBCC might be starting to mount a comeback, getting that first game on their defense. WCU didn't do or wasn't able to find any games when they attacked last round or last game. So we're going to have to see if they can find at least two here. I mean, right now we just need two. That's all we need, but... Yep. Going off what happened first first game, not looking to... We see Boo pulling out the Ezio from Assassin's Creed. Attackers we'll see if it uh pays out for him. As LBCC defends the basement, you're going to have to hole up here. Claude's drone already... Claude's and Cam's drone is actually already Attackers on the floor. And the WCU finds the bombs very quick. Now we're gonna have 30 seconds to figure out how they want to approach this. Cam is gonna try and set up his drone very precisely in this corner as a protective thing. Claude Minimum also gonna just hide in the exact same room, it appears. Ten seconds left before I don't see Livid literally sitting on a bomb with his drone. <laughs> uh, ah, that's funny. But I don't know where Boo's drone is if Boo has a drone. Right. On an upper floor and there we go. WCU is going to be starting to enter here. Going in a little bit patient from the side. Trying to see if they can find anyone peeking their head out and just popping them. Throwing up smoke. Claude throws out a couple of smokes. Livid taking some heavy damage there. Claude puts down his shield though. Don't know if that's what WCU wanted to do there. Ooh, Claude, Claude out. by a shotgun. Livid gets found there also by Spidey. Boo gets found by someone as well. This is really unfortunate for WCU. It's down Spidey to Cam finds Boo. Down to Cam and Min for the moment. Livid is still up. They're going to try and get him up here, but Bonvo does find Cam. They do get Livid up. Well, Min gets and down. now it's, it's Livid. It's up to Livid, who is one shot away. Deadbeat and Agni both... A little yeah. bit low on hop, but that's going to be a follow round for LBCC. Starting to shift the momentum back in their favor. Yep. Bonvo picking up those kills as he was the lowest kill player last, or at the switch here. Now up to seven kills. Livin and Cam still leading WCU in terms of kills. But and right now, I don't know what else WCU can do besides trying just to. I think right now, the smartest option is just try and send in two, two, and one to have a numbers advantage and try and get some kills and just take the other team out. Don't even worry about going for the defuse if you can just... Monty Blackbeard Osa, so definitely protecting minimum here. Trying to allow his shotgun to get some heavy fire into this team. We will be defending... Or they will be attacking first floor. LBCC will be defending first floor. Spot we actually didn't see when... WCU was on defense here. Very nice spot. One I actually like on Oregon because you have this church, which is, again, very easily defendable with only a couple of entrances in that aren't can't be watched at all times. We will be switching over to Sledge. Yep. And Claude Minimum, Cam, and Livid all going to be sitting still. Or all going to be keeping their operators not sitting still. Sitting still. They can't even move yet. So they can't I'm even technically move. Not even, I'm technically not wrong. See Livid immediately pull out that shield, getting ready for the attack here. This is what Monty is used for, is just being a beefcake, just blocking bullets while Minimum and Claude just lay into uh, LBCC here. Well, that's certainly the hope. I don't know how well that's going to go down as WC needs to find a good entrance point. Looks like Cam already going to be getting a little bit of damage taken towards him. Ooh. 
Oh, and WCU now sees the bomb site. Massive entrance here for WCU. Who gets pick on Agni? Wow. Yep. Livid fast. out there being the beefcake he needs to be. I don't think that WCU knows that there's someone on the other side of this bomb. Has to be careful here. Attackers have dropped the bomb. Ooh, man, it's picked off by long after it's really fast. Boo also down. taken out, I was about to say. Monty Shield not really helping at the moment. Not at the moment, down but not out. Because there's a chance he's going to be able to get picked up. He does. Let's hop over to Claude, see what Claude's doing. Is Claude's actually going from a backwards approach currently. But he also might just be stepping up. We'll hop back over to Livid. Check out Cam and Boo as well. Ooh. Cam gets picked off by hopping here. Never mind, not Cam. <laughs> Boo looking to try and do some spray and pray damage, see if there's anyone around there. No one is. I'm gonna throw in a grenade. Boo, er, I mean, Claude, sorry, is gonna go for the defuse behind the Monty shield. Monty gets injured. Claude is found by Bonvo, and it is just livid now, and this livid. is... This is not good, as all of LBCC knows where livid is. Drops two, not able to find the third. Hoppin picks off livid. That's going... And, and Claude and WCU will be calling a timeout. Something that doesn't really happen from WCU. No. In, in most matches for that, or in most games for that yeah, matter. Timeouts boo, I got it. Western, not really. Uh, pause timer. Need to locate and, and here we go, right after the timeout ends, just as this gets back into the streaming booth, uh, WCU really needs to figure out how to swing the momentum back in their favor. LBCC having taken just four or three rounds in a row, my apologies, on defense. But even at this point, all WCU, even though we want WCU to take two and just end this, if WCU, if WCU even just takes one here, that still forces the overtime where a team will have to get to eight to win this map. And if WCU can be me on defense, I think they'll have a really good chance of succeeding. Yep. Not entirely sure though. Not really sure. It all depends on what points are given to the teams when the t uh, overtime happens. Very quickly snipe out the camera so they have no idea where the approach is coming from. Minimum's gonna run a drone in here. Does WCU know where the bombs are at? I don't think so yet. Okay. I can't remember how you tell that. I mean, there's a giant thing that says on the screen. Right, but it goes away only two or three seconds after it pops up, so. There's also an audio cue. But, you know, that is fair. Cam does lose his drone. 
Man, I'm still just swinging this thing around. You know, having fun as you do. Having fun, swinging his drone around. Probably not the right wording for this situation. Definitely but not. Better than the wording you started the stream with. It's all good. <laughs> all I'm saying is that Kate skin was creepy. Well. Ooh, ooh, just about gets taken out there. Oh my gosh, hanging on by a thread for the moment. Can't risk anything. Claude gets picked off by Hoppin. So right now, it's essentially going to be Cam, Livid, and Min against the entirety of LBCC. Well, Min gets about taken out, so never So mind. does Bon, actually. Min does get taken down, but Bon also... Takes a lot of bullets here. So is Agni. At some point. Min's gonna be picked up, actually. <laughs> Min actually picked up by the lower life player on the team. Has Boo with essentially one HP. Picks up Min, giving him, I do believe, I believe it is 30 HP. Enough to maybe take a hit if you're lucky. Yep. Livin and Cam definitely going to have to be the driving force here, here, though, as they are the higher life total players. Livin does get out. Cam trying to find a hole just to... I think Cam's just mainly trying to find someone. Find someone as well as watch the Ooh. holes as Cam gets hit there. Not for much, but it still isn't great. 19 seconds, WC really to make a move here as Boo gets taken out by Bon. Cam finds Bon, though. Hoppin, Hoppin finds, finds Min. Min. It's down to Cam and Livid. It's going to be all up to Cam. Cam is on a 1v3, and he gets taken out by Deadbeat. Deadbeat. WC, or LBCC has tied the game up at 5. No idea what Western's going to be able to, or what Western will do here. They need to find anything. Yep. Bonvo and Hoppin picking up the kills now is, I think Agni's been at nine kills since we did the swap on round six, actually. I believe so. Deadbeat taking a couple more, or getting yeah. a couple more as well. Spidey only finding one since the last time yep. we checked. Cam and Livid carrying WCU right now. Boo, Claude, and Min not able to do quite as much as they maybe are being asked of for the moment. Yep, it will be in the basement again. A place that LBCC did get a flawless victory earlier in this defense, so... This does seem to be LBCC's bread and butter on this map, is this basement defense. As this is also the attack that LBCC did win against WCU, I believe. Can't remember. All I remember is that WCU is able to take attacks. They just haven't been able to do so tonight. Yep. They really just need this one round. And I think if they can get this one round, they'll have the confidence and ability to take the next. All it takes is one round from WCU right now, and that's all we can ask of them. But Live it on the Kali this time. Let's see if it pays off. A lot of operators, not a lot I know. <laughs> and by that I mean I know none. <laughs> we have everyone going in the drones at this point. It's very awkward. I'm, Boo I'm, actually has an offensive drone here. He did try and go for it. That was he does know someone's here. Oh, that's Claude. Sorry, I'm used Good to job. I'm used to Boo playing Flores. Well, Claude's, Claude's gonna, gonna go for again. it again. He gets it off this time, but doesn't find anyone. Claude knows he's there as well. We'll see what happens. Oh, and Bond finds Cam barely Cam. hanging on to life. GC, or er, Minimum, finds Bond. It's going to be a four on four. Very even fight. WCU maybe going to try and pressure a little bit more here. Boo takes some damage as he walks over some electricity. Very smart play from Boo there. 
Because, you know, that's exactly what you should do when you need as much health as you can in a game that can kill you in one hit, is walk over electricity. I'm just kidding. I have no idea how to do this game. <laughs> Rivet is in a fight right now. <laughs> we do so have... Vlog <laughs> takes a heavy amount of damage. There's going to be another bomb drone coming out from Who Vlog. finds Agni? It's a four on three in WCU's favor. Quad again gets that drone off. Doesn't find anyone though. Doesn't even find some damage there. Unfortunate for Quad. He's gonna push up on the wall, see if he can find somebody. Find someone! It's now 3v2. Claude finds Deadbeat. Hop and finds Livid. Seems like someone finds Claude. Ooh, and it's all up to Claude, the captain for WCU R6, if memory serves. He's yep. gonna have to show his leadership skills and lead this team to the victory this round. Never mind, Spidey <laughs> finds him. <laughs> Spidey finds Claude standing in a corner. Great kill. I don't, walked around the corner for late. That's, yeah, I don't know what Claude was planning there. Is he wasn't in a drone, he was just standing there. Well, now it is match and see, not only match, it is series point for LBCC. Western obviously needed that last map, but they need this one now more than ever. They need this attack to succeed. They were very close that round, not quite able to do so. We see Livid pulling out the nook. A pick he hasn't made tonight, but I also know is one of Livid's bread and butter picks. Definitely his favored. We're gonna be attacking first floor here with the bomb. All of the entire series rests on this point. It'd be great if WCU could at least win this map and force it to map three, giving them at least a point, at least some point in the series. Any map win is a good map win. You yep. don't always have to win every series, although it's good to. But it is ideal. It's ideal, but it's not always possible. But at this point, taking one map or one game in the series is going to set WCU up for success down the line. Not, But still, playing as well as they are right now, I can't say that they should be disappointed in their performance. They're playing very well, even though maybe the map score isn't what they want. Very much so. And it's not it's something that I will bring into this, that I will bring into esports that was something that is very apparent or that was taught to, or that is very apparent in Western hockey is it's not about the score at the end of the day. Sure, it's fun to win. It's fun to smoke teams. It's fun to win championships and go far. But it's not about that. What you, You're not going to remember the score at the end of the day. You're not going to look back 20 years from now and remember exactly what the score of game five in the season was you're gonna remember the people who are working beside you and on your team three semesters ago wcu slate did win in the semifinals four to one against esu warriors yeah but that's your only victory so that's a big <laughs> upset actually that was the seven seed upsetting the number one seed just to prove <laughs> my co-commentator a little wrong as i do remember a lot of our good scores yeah but that was three years ago not 20 that is fair. When you're looking back in the future, years down the line, you're talking to your kids about your college experience, you're not always going to remember exactly what the scores were. Sure, you're going to remember championships because those were a bigger deal, but in games like this, in a season where maybe not the best or strongest performance from your team, you will remember exactly who you're, like, who you're playing beside. And right now, this WCU team is working strong together. Livid gets a pick bone. on Bond. And GC Minimum, the only one on Western who was taking some damage, and I think that was from Electricity. Here's Nook. Nook's ability, we'll see if it pays off. Boo getting Boo. shredded there. Yeah, Boo is getting shot at. Don't know from where. Oh, from that one. Oh, double dead kill oh, on dead Minimum feet and finds Boo. That Boo is... and Minimum, not, not a good spot, but... Cam finds Hop and Spidey finds Cam. It is up to Livid and Claude. Will these two be able to take the series? Mm, Livid gets found. It's it is up to all Claude. up to Claude. Claude trying to keep his team alive. Is he going to be able to do it? He Claude falls, falls down, through takes the hole. out the camera above him. I do not think that fall was intentional, though. Oh, definitely not. But it is all on Claude's shoulders. Is he going to be able to bring his team back in this? He has 40 seconds here to just kill He's the to get a three triple kill. remaining op operators. But they are surrounding oh, that bomb, and, and Agni, Agni finds flanks him. him, comes from behind, to and takes victory him out. For... Oh, never mind, that comes from behind, just sitting there waiting, and Claude gets the wrong peek. 
honestly a great series from both teams. WCU falling to LBCC, who was two ranks above them. We'll see how seed or how placements or how the leaderboard changes after tonight. But right now, honestly, a great series from both teams. Yep. And as we said earlier in this stream, join us tomorrow night as well, as you'll see. The number seven WCU Esports League team taking on the number one team in their division, Bethany. Hopefully looking for the upset. Who else is playing tomorrow night? Because I know that we have Overwatch Crimson. Overwatch Crimson, I do not remember who they are playing, but that is their rescheduled match from spring break. We are hoping we can get it on stream. And according to our coach's schedule, we should also... I think we have both Smash games tomorrow, or at least one Smash game tomorrow for... Crimson, I believe, or no, Slate, I believe, is the Smash game. But again, this is Disagree and JoJo Mojo. Thank you for joining us. Have a even great though, evening. Have a great evening, even though it wasn't a great evening for WCU, even though it was a well fought match between both teams. Results weren't quite what we wanted, but still, great match, great series. Have a great night.